Hi guys, today we're going to show you a new set of Raptor lights from Car Trim Home. As you can see, we have smoked version installed in the RAV4. They do blend in into the vehicle a lot better, in my opinion, than the orange ones. By the way, if you're looking for orange, uh, Car Trim Home has the orange version as well. And we'll actually show you both today. We'll show you how the smoked one looks like and how the orange. But for now, let's turn on the uh, smoked ones. Once you turn them on, as you can see, they become orange as well. And this is how it looks. Today we'll show you how to install uh, the lights, how to install the wiring. And if you're interested, I will leave the link for them in the description. These lights get installed in the openings on the grill. I believe it will work with uh, majority of the trims, but not with Adventure and Prime. Uh, unlike the previous installation of Raptor lights, which we did some time ago, which were using the brackets, these ones use the clips. And uh, right now we'll show you how easy it is to install and remove them. To remove them, we simply need to uh, locate one of the clips as you can see push on it and uh, pull the light out and this is how it looks we have four clips holding it in place and when you install them same way it just snaps in place and as you can see it's not going anywhere it's very secure we're not using any tape or glue it holds really well set comes with uh, the four uh, wires that get connected to the lights and uh, which later actually become one wire and go uh, right here which goes to the fuse box in the fuse box it will get the power from one of the fuses in our case this is the fuse that we used but depending on your trim you might want to use a different one or you can also connect it to the marker lights and uh, the grounding wire gets connected to one of these two as you can see we have it right here and that's pretty much it for the installation and this is how our smoked raptor lights look like in a darker place as I said before, they do match the grill. Let's turn them on. And here they are. As I said, during the night they look a lot brighter than during the day. And they look really good. And here we have the two orange ones and two smoked ones. Let's turn them on and uh, they actually look almost the same the orange ones are slightly more orange compared to the uh, smoked ones I'm not sure if you can tell if the camera is capable of showing this difference but overall they're very very close and this is good because uh, as I said even though these right ones are smoked they are still very bright one more thing I wanted to point out is that you can actually install these lights in any of these uh, openings so you can put them in this row in this one or use a custom pattern for example you can leave this one here and move the, this one over there same with this one and leave this one so it's completely up to your imagination right now we'll turn on all the lights so you guys can see how it looks with the headlights being on we still have the orange ones right here and we have the smoked ones on this side and this is how it looks Again, as I said, the link will be available in the description, check them out, and right now we'll show you how the installation was done. We will be using the 10mm socket to remove three bolts holding the lock in place. Now 
now we'll remove two bolts and I believe five plugs holding the plastic cover. This one bolt right here. And the second one is located right here. Now we'll use this plastic trim removal tool to remove the plugs. Right here we have the wiring for our lights, uh, we've got four connectors and we have the fuse tap which also comes in the set. Uh, right now we'll show you where we'll be getting the power. To be more specific we'll be using this 7.5 uh, fuse. In certain trims you also have a, I believe 10 amp fuse for the USB which you can use not in this vehicle one of the other options how to get the power you can use this wire you can get power from this wire to get uh, the signal when the marker lights are on in this case uh, your Raptor lights will turn on only when you turn on the marker lights they won't work all the time in our case they will work as soon as we turn on the ignition in our previous Raptor light installation we showed you how we made a small opening in the fuse box in order to run our wire and uh, right now we'll do the same thing as you can see the wire will go uh, will be pulled from the bottom through the opening it will exit from the top and this will allow us to connect uh, our fuse tap and easily close uh, the cover on this side you've got the male part of the connector and on the other will be the female on the fuse tap. You will need to remove the original fuse. Something you need to be aware about uh, the new fuse tap is that it actually comes in slightly different size. RAV4 has uh, uh, mini low profile fuses like this and this is simply mini fuses. It will still work but uh, you have to actually use a different fuse because ideally you need to use like you have to use a fuse that came from the slot. In this case we'll use a fuse with a different size. You can also get a different fuse step, the mini low profile, uh, to match them exactly. The ground can be connected to one of uh, two wires right here. They are dedicated spots for the ground inside the vehicle. So you need to unscrew one of them, use 10 millimeter socket. Now this end will be inserted underneath the bolt. Throughout the wire you can either remove this plastic 
piece and uh, run it underneath. You can also have used one of these openings. And the set actually comes with uh, a bunch of zip ties which you can use to secure the wiring in place. We have two sets of lights, we'll be installing the smoke ones uh, in the vehicle, but we'll also have the yellow ones and we'll show you how they look compared to the smoked ones. Uh, the installation will be very simple, it's uh, plug and play. You simply insert uh, these uh, lights into the slots in the grill and they're specifically designed for this vehicle. They just clip into place and um, it, I don't think it works for Prime or for the Adventure, but it will work with all other trees. As you can see, it's very easy. And they are completely secure, they're not moving at all, there is no glue, there is no tape, it fits really nice. Now you will need to connect them to the main wiring, one by one. Now all four lights are connected to the wiring. As we said before, you will need to use the zip ties uh, that come with the set to secure them inside the vehicle and now we can close the cover as you can see nothing is in the way because the wire exits from uh, underneath the fuse box and as we said it works very well right now we have the smoked ones installed this is how they look in the off position and now they are on now because there is lots of light outside right now they don't look as bright but at night they will be much more visible as a comparison right now we will install a couple of uh, yellow ones and show you guys the difference now we have two yellow ones installed on the left as you can see compared to the gray ones they look yellow completely and the gray ones look gray. Uh, now let's turn them on and see the difference. Now both the smoked ones and the yellow lights are on. Again guys, this is how the smoked ones look like and the yellow ones. The yellow ones are more bright than the smoked ones but we actually like smoked ones more um, because when the lights are off they do blend in better in the vehicle but this is completely up to you which one you prefer